Do I buy the FN502 or do I buy the TX22? Let's go inside, take a look. We'll do a comparison between the FN502 and the Taurus TX22. Welcome back and thanks for joining Ty the Gun Guy! I do want to mention about Olight. You guys use my coupon code TODD10, that's T-O-D-D-1-0, and you guys will get a 10% discount on your Olight products. So the question is, FN502 Tactical, or do we get the Taurus TX22? Two really, really nice 22 handguns. I can start off by saying if you get either of these, you're going to be doing very well compared to what's on the market today. Of course, I started off with the Taurus TX-22. It pretty much ate everything that I fed to it. No issues, no jams, misfeeds, of course, other than just issues with the quality of the ammo. Um, there was no failure to eject, feed, etc., etc., etc. So, all in all, has been a wonderful performing 22 for me. Then, all of a sudden, this guy comes out, the FN-502. I've always been fond of the FN and uh, had to give that thing a shot, and I'm glad I did because I really, really enjoy this one as well. This is all I have to compare. It's just your standard model since I don't have the competition model on the TX-22. So the first thing I could definitely tell is the quality, right? You could tell the difference of the FN, the price point being a little bit higher than you would this model right here. So like I said earlier, you can pick up the FN502 right now between 469 and probably 529. And you can pick up the Taurus TX22 standard model from 299 to 429. Between the two, right out of the gate, I can tell you you're getting what you pay for. And the FN502 just feels well built. It feels stronger, heavier duty than would the Taurus TX22. One difference you can tell right out of the gate. You'll notice the thread protector here and not one on the Taurus TX-22. One thing that I wasn't really fond of was this barrel is actually split. you got to put on an adapter, so it's actually two pieces. With the FN-502, the barrel is all one solid constructed piece. Again, on the TX-22, you actually have to put an adapter and your thread protector adapter, which always had a, its way of coming loose and, quite honest, was sort of a pain in the butt. That's why you don't see it on there anymore. I just put the uh, the additional piece to the end to cover the threads inside the barrel because it kept coming off. So this was a huge win in my book for the 502 being one solid piece construction in the barrel. They both have nice serrations on the front and the back of the slides. For comparison there, I would say they're definitely about the same as far as front and rear serrations to rack the slide. The overall size comparison, they're very similar in size, but they're going to give you a complete different feel when it comes to the ergonomics. The FN502 is going to give you more of a straight shot down the back side of the grip, where the TS Torx is going to have more of a hump back here. So it's really going to come down to preference as far as the grip is concerned. I personally like the FN502 grip. I think it's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to hold. But not taking away from the Taurus TX-22 grip, uh, they're both pretty ergonomically friendly. Both feel well. See which one fits you best. For me, it's the FN-502. Both of these are going to give you the front Picatinny rail. Uh, this one, because of the serial tag underneath here, you only have two sections. Here you're actually going to have three for your lights or lasers. But they're both going to give you an option to attach. As far as the mag release on the 502 and how it releases, you can see here, I'll hold it up. That thing just fires out of there with the Taurus. It's going to be much flatter, not much there, and it sort of drops out. It's going to be more pronounced on the FN, and it's very positive. So, again, the wind goes to the FN 502 for the mag release. As far as the construction of the mags, there is your Taurus mag. It's pretty thin, pretty light. There's no markings to show you how many rounds are in it. It does have the uh, assist right here to load. 
And then the FN502 does mark and show you where the rounds are. It does have the assist right here as well. It's just a much heavier duty magazine all the way around, including the spring to the way to load it, everything about it. Quality by far going to the FN502 in the magazines. Now, of course, with that said, the Taurus TX-22 is going to be a 16 plus 1. So you're going to get 17 rounds of fun. And the FN-502, you're going to get 15 plus 1 to make it 16. So the winner of the capacity is going to go to the Taurus TX-22. One thing to notice on the action, the Taurus TX-22, it's going to be a striker-fired pistol. And the FN-502 is going to be a hammer single action only. I think that's going to come down to your preference, what you're used to. Um, at the end of the day so far, it really didn't make a difference to me. It's whatever you like or are comfortable with. I haven't had an issue with either of these making light strikes, so I've been okay on both of them. The FN502 is going to have ambi safety on both sides as far as the slide lock on both sides. On the Taurus TX-22, you're going to see only the ambi is the safety, or the slide lock here is only on the left side. The standard Taurus TX-22, it does come with two white in the back. I actually changed it out for the high vis in the front, so it would have been a three white dot system that comes with it. The 502 comes with suppressor height sights that are blacked out, and of course, they all come standard optics ready. So the TX-22 does have optic ready competition model available. Let's talk triggers. On the FN502, there's really not much travel here or creep at all, and it's a pretty crisp, clean break. The only difference here, this is going to have a long reset. Show you the reset on the 502, all the way to there. So that's quite a bit of a long reset. I'm used to it, doesn't really bother me, but it is longer than the uh, TX22. One thing with the longer reset on the FN502 as compared to the Taurus TX-22 is that you're going to be able to get rounds off a lot faster with the TX-22. The Taurus, although I didn't mind the trigger when I used it, it's sort of gritty. You could hear it, so it does have some travel or play before it gets to the wall. It's also a pretty clean break when it hits there. When it gets there, it's real easy to pull. So I don't really mind that trigger either. This just has a little bit more play or grit to it when you pull it. So the reset on the TX-22, it's right there. I mean, that is amazing. So as far as the reset on the trigger, Taurus TX-22, I would have to say less the grittiness in here that has a much better trigger as far as the reset is concerned and it is pretty crisp and easy to pull. They, they both give you a different feel on the trigger so again that's one of those things that you're going to have to really get one in your hands and see which one you prefer. As far as the triggers go, man I would say it's probably a tie because they both give and take a little bit. As far as the breakdown and disassembly reassembly for these things they're probably very much the same as far as the ease, but the FN502, it's got your uh, breakdown right here. So you slide that down. You don't have to fire it, pull off the slide. With the Taurus TX22, you pull down on the switch there, fire, and pull off the slide. So they're both pretty easy to take down and put back together. This Taurus, I probably put a couple thousand rounds through with no issues. So can't take away from this thing. You guys are going to have to make the decision on your own. But for me, if I had to do it all over again and just get one, it would be the FN502. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and until next time, tie the gun guy!